Hey there everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. On this episode we will be uh, doing more of uh, Rusty Bucket Bay. Um, first thing we're going to be doing is continuing around the outside like like what we were doing last time. And um, something this level has are these tool boot, toll booths where you have to put in eggs. Um, the first one always takes the number of eggs it says, the, the toll, but then every time you put in eggs after that, it wants double that. So if it says four, then you have to put in eight, etc. So in this pit here, we have a Jinjo on the other side, but also what we'll find is that there is Snacker. Snacker is back, and we don't want him here. We want him gone, because we need to be in this water for a second to get someplace. So let's take care of him. Now, if we look over here, there's a little hole down there. We need to get in there, but the camera angle doesn't change from this. So basically, we need to get in through this gimpy camera angle, and it can't see where the hole is anymore. There we go. So once we're inside, and quickly surface, and now we are in this uh, area in here. So quickly get that all taken care of. There's a switch over here which has our second honeycomb piece. It's a honeycomb switch, much like we saw in uh, uh, Gobi's Valley. So hit the switch, and ding, it's right in midair. So now we just continue on throughout the uh, inside of the warehouse here. On the boat, I believe, there's a foot. No, it's over there. Uh, what's the boat here for, then? You know, I don't really remember. Oh, well. Um, so anyway. We hit that. Now we just keep on, whoops, going around. Um, there's a big life preserver thing that tries to kill you over there, so we'll get that. And then in midair, we'll have the honeycomb piece all good to go. And that's two for this level, so that makes that makes two. We're all good. Okay, now we have to get back the way we came, which is down here, I believe. And again, we have to surface really quickly or else Snacker's going to get us. So actually, if we move out this way... Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's definitely not good. There's a hole over here, a hole in the gate, and we can get in through that way. And then we're going to use that to uh, travel in through here. As you saw, there was a window that didn't have yellow panes in it. It was kind of a clear window. You can also get in through that way, but... Um, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I'm trapped. Oh, thank you. Made it. All right, you can also make it through the hole, and that would make this part a little easier here. But um, we didn't do that, so oh well. Going on up and up and up. Whoa, ho, 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 whoa. Uh, ugh. There, if we go this way, there is a puzzle piece over here. So let's go ahead and get that. And there's puzzle piece number three, I believe. Yep, puzzle piece number three. So now if we continue on, we can get another unit of health over here. I believe there's some notes over on the other side. And if anything, there's that one up there, so let's get a, go ahead and get that. Um, uh, this place is so scary, there's just so many ways to die in this level, like I've already counted so many. You could die from lack of oxygen, you can die from snacker, you can die from the engine room, you can die from the propeller on the ship. There's more, I could go on, but I'm just not going to because I really don't want to think about how I'm going to die. However, I've already taken care of... I've already taken care of all the parts of the level that are really the hardest. Like, I've taken care of the engine room completely. I've taken care of the, uh, the un where I just went underwater there. I've taken care of the pink Jinjo underwater. That's also another big one. 
Um, so pretty well, I've done almost every every hardest part of this level, I'd say. There's only one more, which is a little easier than the rest, but, you know, I should be good with those. So this area here, here we have some acid in here. If you touch it, you'll take damage. I used to think if you touched it, you just kind of automatically died, but that's not true, and I'm not going to test it out because I'm paranoid that way. So, there's another mumbo token there, so collect that. And we'll keep jumping across these barrels and back. So that was pretty simple. Uh, continuing along. Um, also, you saw me blow up one of these dynamite blocks in the last episode. Um, don't get near them because they'll just start chasing you. And then if they touch you, they blow up and deal you two damage out of it. So it's best just to, just to blow them up that way. Okay, and we'll be going up here. Got some notes there. We're not going to hit that switch just yet because I want to um, use the toll here. Uh, it takes four to move it forward, just like I, I expected. And then if we continue going along here... Actually, let's do this one thing at a time. It'll be a little easier that way to keep track of what's what's been doing what. Let's go back to the shock jump pad, and we're going to climb on top of here now. Um, oh good, this is the one that makes it go up. Okay. If it was the down, then we have it. So do a ram into here, and you'll see um, on the ship this little thing uh, makes it go up. Now, if you're slightly low on health, it's not a good idea to do what I'm going to do here. Just wait until you got more health and then go back and do it. But I'm going to do this so it doesn't take any health at all. So Basically, just go over here, do that, fall down, and bam. Um, if you're not that good at doing the glide on the way down, then not really not really um, good to do that, just in case you die. So. While we're on the ship, we may as well get the mumbo token that's on the bow here. Oh, right, this is the bow of the ship, not the stern. Oh, now that we're on the bow, we can go into the other one. So there's a pipe on the other side here that we can go inside, and in it is the ship's kitchen. A hi! These guys say when they see you. A hi! A hi! Anyway, there's notes all the way scattered or throughout this level. I'm um, in the fridge here. They got some eggs, and um, for some reason they have a big sewer creature sticking out of it. I really don't know why, but it's probably not safe for the food and stuff. So we get the one egg. Um, in the oven over here, there's a mumbo token. Got to be careful not to touch, or else Gruntilda will laugh at you. Stupid bear, you'll have to learn that red oven tends to burn. But we got a mumbo token out of it, so that's that's all good and stuff. Anyways, now that we're done that, it's time to return. Actually, we're just going to go over here for a sec. There's something I want to show you guys. Um, on one, on the side of the ship somewhere is a code. I don't exactly remember where it is on this ship, but pretty sure it's on the first deck, over on this side. Here it is. You'll see this. 312111. So, now that we've gotten this oh-so-mysterious code, let's just go up this way so we can get these notes here. And um, up one more. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Up one here, we'll get that note. We'll also get the note on the other side. This code doesn't change from game to game. It's the same code, so if you remember it from another file, go ahead and enter it in. But I had to go and look it up just to show you. So we have three, one, two, one, one, one. And once you enter in the code correctly, a puzzle piece will appear right out of it. And I thought it appeared on front, so I moved around to the side, but I guess that wasn't really needed. Alright, so there's puzzle piece number five. Uh, now we're going to exit out of here and we're going to continue on moving about the, uh, the the path, the toll path, because there's still some stuff we need to get. And I'm just going to fall off here because that's how I roll. Whew. That was close. 
Um, in these boxes isn't really anything noteworthy. In here, I believe there's just one extra one up. Uh, oh wait, there's notes in this one. That's right. So, come on into this first one and get some notes. Um, could have sworn there was a dynamite box in this box, but I guess there wasn't. Thank goodness. Alright, getting that. Here's another one. And of course there's also a Mumbo token in here. Also good. Uh, we need those Mumbo tokens. We're back up to 15, which means we only need 10 more. 10 more, and there's still one more level to go. Very nice. Um, over here in this one, this one has the dynamite blocks. Let's just kind of walk around, make them follow you, and then I'm just going to do that. Uh, when all four are killed, a one-up pops out of the box there, so you can go ahead and collect that. These eggs are just to take care of those things in case you don't have any golden feathers. Um, if you get too close to them, they'll start jumping up and down really violently. Oh, there's also notes over here. Um, they'll start jumping up and down really violently, and then they'll just blow themselves up. So, you know, it's kind of win-win there. But if you are too close to the explosion, then you'll just die. Uh, this middle one here, you have to jump in from the top, but I don't believe there's anything too notable in this area. There's just some feathers, and um, I think that's it. Oh, no, I hear a Jinjo. Oh, and there's a Mumbo token up there. I keep saying there's nothing notable in these areas, but then I'm like, oh, wait, there's actually something super important. You guys can just forget everything I say from now on. Let's see, where's that Jinjo? Feathers up there. Maybe I'll see it from this angle. Alright. Let's see, where is it? Oh, there it is. Blue Jingo behind the boxes. Alright, now we need to get out of here. Because we're, we're through with this area here. Climbing on up. And now it's time for us to continue around the side again, although I don't... Oh yeah, we can't get around, because the toll thing is on the other side. Well, I guess it's time to return to the ship. So, on the next episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, we'll be returning back to the ship. And actually, we'll probably get there before I'm done my extra. So, um, yeah, we won't be doing too much, so I guess I'll just meet you guys right on top of the ship. And, um, see you guys there.